All right, so once you have the lens off, then you're actually going to need to take this reflector out of the headlight so that we can start modifying it. Uh, in general, there's usually one or two aiming adjuster knobs on the back of the headlight, which you can see here. Uh, this headlight only has one, but really all those are is just long screws that actually hold the reflector in. So to remove it, we're going to actually back this screw out all the way. Uh, that's the aiming adjuster. And then this headlight also has two ball joint type sockets. So there's one here and there's one here. So we're going to need to remove those. They just pop off. Be careful with it. You know, they are pretty delicate. They won't break really easily. Um, usually just a small flat blade screwdriver can wedge them off. In this stage of the retrofit, we're actually going to start beginning to modify the reflector to accept the new projectors. So uh, the first thing that you want to do, a lot of headlights had these little caps in there for the original halogen bulbs. Generally pretty easy to take off. This one just has a couple flanges that are going to need to be bent. So go ahead and squeeze those in with our pliers here. There's one. There's two. And usually you just pop it off after that. So now that we got that out to the side, um, you know, really it's just a matter of kind of sizing up the projector, you know, according to the reflector that you're going to put it in. So since the FXR is going to go in the low beam here, uh, we're going to want to usually sink it back as far as possible. Um, so we're going to start by just making a small hole in the back and then just making the hole bigger and bigger as we need it to get the projector further in. So. Again, uh, respective to the size of the projector, uh, we're going to use our permanent marker. Just kind of make some, some marks on the reflector just so we can get a good feel for where we're going to want to cut it. Uh, it looks like about there, maybe about here. Just, just some good lines for reference. I mean, this is just a start. So go maybe a bit of midway there. I just like to kind of connect the dots, make it a nice full circle. Um, you know, generally you just want to kind of center this right around that original uh, bulb holder. So once we have the reflector out, uh, first thing that you want to do is mark the top so you don't get confused. It's a little bit hard to tell the difference, uh, usually when it's outside the headlights, so you can say I wrote top, top. Uh, from there, I went ahead and made some reference lines with a permanent marker, uh, just kind of showing you know, what's exactly up and down and side to side. Um, and then I made a couple you know, uh, similarly uh, sized holes that we're going to cut in the back of the housing with the permanent marker. So you can see those two here, the, the outlines that I made. And really, there's, there's no real science to this and how you do it. I mean, ultimately, you're just going to have to, you know, size according to the particular projector that you've selected for the retrofit. So, you know, the FXR, I mean, the bowl is, is a pretty average size. So, you know, that's, that's uh, what we're going to do for the hole. Um, it's usually best to start smaller and then make the hole bigger if you need to, uh, to sink the projector further back. So, you know, when you first start to go do your cuts, you know, measure twice, cut once. You know, if you need to adjust it and make it bigger, no problem. So now that we've got the two holes cut out the back of the reflector, uh, we're pretty good to go on the, on the uh, regular, on the, the main low beam reflector. Uh, the FXR projector is going to fit in there just fine. Uh, we don't need to go any deeper on it because this is a deeper part of the housing. So we shouldn't have any issues with that. It's a good fit. Um, you know, hole ended up just as I drew it originally. Once you've confirmed the fitment of the projectors inside the reflector after it's modified, uh, you can then go ahead and start to just clean it off. It's going to be really dusty, so you know, either use your compressed air or just put it in the sink, you know, wash it off. Um, you know, whether or not you're going to paint it like we are, you're going to want to do this anyway, just get it ready for reassembly.